So Sunday, it's car show day. I was going to be going to Japfest at Silverstone. However, I had a DJ client meet today, 1 p.m. in Grantham, right bang in the middle of the day, uh, which meant that I'll probably get to Silverstone for four o'clock and the event does finish at five. I did contemplate it, but then I looked on the website today and they've actually sold out at Silverstone. How do you sell out when it's not a seated event? Well, it's their loss, not mine. So I was going to head over to the Eckington uh, car show, which is on today, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. But because it's pissing it down rain, it's been cancelled. So I went on the interweb and I found another car show rover near Lincoln. And uh, we are at Daisy Maid Farm for their car and bike show. And I'm in the van today because um, the 300ZX, it's between bumpers at the moment. It's not got a bumper on. Well, it has got a bumper on, but it's fiberglass and I've not painted it yet. So obviously I don't want to chip that up. Plus I put the clear lights in. So if you go over to the, the 300ZX uh, playlist on my uh, channel, you will find videos on me fitting the new bumper, so far anyway. So I've got the clear lights in and I needed some amber balls for them. So the car's not road legal yet anyway, because of that. But on the way through Grantham I went in and I picked these up as well so I've got my amber bulbs so th there's two versions of these in Alfords they're both the same bulb both the same part number the 581 but there's a motorbike version and a car version which are both the same except the motorbike you pay £7.50 for it and the car you pay £3.75 for it and it's exactly the same so I nearly got ripped off but I didn't Anyway, let's go take a look round. So this show actually started, I think, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's on till 6. People come and go as and when. Um, I didn't get here to 2 o'clock because I had, obviously, the meeting at 1 o'clock over in Grantham. So we're going to take a look around at what is left. So you've got this uh, <laughs> slammed jag. Well, you've got to give a cost of coffee to both you. XJ6 with a couple of uh, nice looking pipes on the back as well. Yeah. Team AF, whatever that is. And next door, a Triumph. Yeah. With some bonnet mounted mirrors. 1600. Six cylinder? Yeah. Yeah, she's. Uh, That's that. It's a Toyota Mr. 2 Roadster. Yeah, it's like ten minutes. Vent. That's all it takes is ten minutes to really do it. So you do on the dashboard. So next to this uh, Morris here in the black. And it will it, this car was once owned by Gary Barlow. And next door, a Volkswagen with two nice pipes. And it's for sale. Next door, BM. And then we've got a three-wheeler with a shopping basket on the back and a small person. So you're gonna have to be small to get in there. Watch out for the wasps. Here we got a little, little, and large VW campus sponsored by Coca Cola. And we used to spend the afternoon in the pub up there, in the in, 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 sorry, in the red line. 
somewhere in there there's a little engine All your mod cons. And this actually, I believe, will drive. It's fully a mobility scooter. Bring it back 90s with six benigns on the dash, not the parcel shelf. And up there's a big intent. Next to the Morris Minor Woody. And if we pop round here, there's a Ford Capri. We'd go faster stripes, also bringing back the 80s stroke 90s. And then the VW with some fenders being cut off it. And dual exit pipes. Dad had the MGB GT, the old one, yeah. 1800 and it just went. Also missing its front fenders. Is that what I mean? Yeah. I do like the MGB. I've had the front as well. Ford Festa. Just in case the Festa goes up in flames. And here we got a purple triumph with another nice pair of pipes. <laughs> Next door, the triumph with a nice angled hood, boot thing. 90's phoned, they want their dice back. Next door, the Renault Clio Sport. Yeah. Sports exhaust. And carbon fibre. Next door, another Renault. Then a classic Land Rover. Then we have got a classic Mini with a body kit on it, some side skirts. There's vents that do not vent. And pair in the back. Size of that exhaust. And now we're in trouble because the old bills here off the sixties. Next door to a Nova GTE from the nineties. Turbo. Well, it says turbo anyway. Probably one down there somewhere. <laughs> and then the Nova, not GTE. Next door to that, food and stuff you can buy, and ice cream. Next, the very British Austin 7. <laughs> Next, uh, some more British stuff Triumph. Now, because I didn't bring the Nissan 300ZX, somebody else is here to represent the JDM. The Nissan Micra. <laughs> and next door, a 
stretch Skoda limo thing. Not my favourite Skoda. And it's got a smaller version of itself in the back. And a spinny bussy thing. And itself on there, look, on a little turntable spinning man. And its neighbour, Mini Cooper. British Racing Green. Next door to a Morris Minor. And then a Ford Capri with fuel injection. Because in the 80s and 90s, you had to tell people you had fuel injection on your car. Then next door, another Mini. Then moving along this big long Ford estate. For a roof spoiler. And then if you come round here. <laughs> another slammed vehicle. And I'm guessing it's slammed on BC Racing coilovers. Now if we come up here, all on its lonesome. We've got this motorbike, sickle thing. Hi, I'm not Adam C, and this is Cars Leaving. Very slowly. This one here, wasn't invited. Merc next door, and then we got this red Porsche. dog. I somehow think this one's laughing at me. That's creepy. I would say this is a rat rod. And if you're wondering where you get a paint job like this, not from the Bastard Crew, no, from here. So, well patinaed Morris Minor truck. with a pretend baby and behind we have the Ford F100 patinaed Yankee truck Volvo <laughs> here next door for a Lotus which looks like an MX-5 still got tax on it as well and a little Morris Minor and here with the chassis mount Wang we've got a Chrysler Estate Avenger in red well, actually, apparently, cherry red. Nora Morris Minor. Teddy bears having a picnic in the back. And a Volkswagen Beetle replica rear end. 
over here, another MX-5 Tribute. An MOT fog light. Rear side-ish type exit exhaust thing. And you can kind of open the window on it. Nice racing wheel there for Sparco as well. It's uh, pretty stripped out inside. Double carbs, filters. So it's a Triumph Spitfire. But it's a road legal race car. You can scan that if you want to find out more. And just in case anything blows up. Dennis is here to put it out. With his big O's. And next door we've got the event medic van. Another fire engine. With a trailer. That's not attached. He'll be waiting a while for that to leave because it's not in service. And you can go in it. So you can sort of see the show from here, sort of. Bang the sound system. So just in case you fancy jumping out, if you can open this window and just jump out the back. And Jeremy Clarkson's here. An old caravan, very old. A couple of tractors. So, new arrival, Opal Manta. GTE. So while we wait for some new arrivals, we'll hop into the food van. And it moves. It did move. Yeah, look at that. Well, in true Adam Speed style, I found a place to stand to film the cars leaving. Yeah. Bottle that up, put it in a perfume bottle, and send it to Greta from back. But out of sea, don't do tractors leaving the car show. And on that note, I did wait for new arrivals. It pissed it down, and uh, nobody's really turned up. So that's probably going to be it for this video. So if you found it useful and all that kind of thing, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.